Africa Rise. New stress tolerant are Eco Rise varieties for Africa. Listen to the comments on this exciting development from rice experts. The objective of Strasa was to try to develop rice varieties that are tolerant to what we call the abiotic stresses that tend to impede rice production in Africa. Some of these stresses like uh, drought, salinity, iron toxicity, low temperatures, that's cold, and also uh, submergence have really been affecting rice fields in farmers' fields. Since we have this system of certification of Africa rice to say any rice variety that has gone through the breeding task force scheme of evaluation and has shown promise in certain ecology and you find certain countries are already highly interested in them, we need to give them the Arica level, which will be like a certification to see if this particular variety has undergone through our screening system. The whole network agrees that this variety is good for this particular purpose. And we are very glad to announce that this year for the Strasa project, six breeding lines have actually been named Arikas. So we already have six lines, and then interestingly, two of these lines happen to be nominated for different stresses. You find for iron toxicity, countries have nominated one of the lines to be very, very tolerant. It's a, a, line developed, a breeding line developed in Senegal in our St. Louis station. And it has been nominated in Burkina Faso for iron toxicity tolerance as well as Ghana. But at the same time, you find for in Senegal itself and Mali, they have been able to nominate this variety for tolerance to low temperatures. That means adaptation for cultivation in the cold, dry season. Uh, in true collaboration to utilize the already identified genes or traits of importance in rice production, we use those traits in our work to improve the varieties that is being grown in Africa. This is what we call the marker assisted selection approach. Donc du coup on a six arika. Et le côté intéressant c'est qu'on a une variété qui est à la fois bonne pour la toxiférose et bonne pour le froid. Ce qui est une très bonne chose. Donc ça dit que les arika qu'on a sont très bien. The objective was to compare our test material with the best check and varieties is considered as promising one if it over, over yield or, 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 or is better in different parameters uh, compared to the best check over the years. It's wonderful to see uh, products now um, reaching the stage where they can really move into, uh, into African farmers' fields. So uh, the, uh, the fruits of the, uh, uh, the first few phases of, uh, first two phases of Strasa uh, are uh, are now ready for, uh, for dissemination, and that's what this meeting is about. Uh, the Arika approach uh, of um, you know, building up a, a strong data set on performance of, the, of, of these products is really uh, a step forward. So uh, we're, I, I'm very impressed by uh, the breeding task force, the uh, uh, testing network that it's set up, the, the partnership with uh, uh, the national systems. I think this is going to be uh, uh, a wonderful uh, conduit for uh, uh, moving improved material into farmers' fields. Oui, effectivement, ces variétés sont très intéressantes pour, pour nous parce que, comme vous le savez, dans la vallée du fleuve Sénégal, avant l'installation des barrages anti-sel, il euh, y avait la remontée saline qui, a, qui envahissait beaucoup une très grande superficie de nos terres au niveau du delta. Et euh, donc cette remontée saline est restée. Il y a une très grande superficie qu'on ne peut pas utiliser. Les paysans, ceux qui forcent pour utiliser, ne font pas les rendements qu'il faut à cause de la salinité. Donc ces variétés qui sont tolérantes au sel, Bon, vraiment, euh, c'est une grande opportunité pour nous de pouvoir récupérer ces terres et de permettre aux paysans qui font des rendements assez bas en raison de la contrainte salinité de, de pouvoir euh, utiliser une variété tolérante qui va leur permettre d'augmenter leur rendement. Trouver des variétés qui sont tolérantes à certains stress que nous vivons, c'est très important pour les producteurs et le, euh, en Afrique. Donc, euh, je peux dire que nous assistons à une révolution. Heureusement que Africa Rice, à travers le projet Straja, a pensé à ça. Et, et c'est normal qu'ils pensent à ça parce qu'ils vivent avec nous. Donc, euh, je crois très bien que 
avec ces nouvelles variétés qui sont effectivement les solutions de nos problèmes. Nous y croyons que nous allons pouvoir progresser rapidement. This has been the real bottleneck. That is how can you get seed to farmers? So right now the exercise we are having in the planning phase for Strasse phase three, we want to put a lot of emphasis on dissemination so that we can get what we call impact. So there we want to work with our national partners to guide them to have what we call seed roadmap through uh, Agra and uh, Africa rice, especially looking at how we can uh, help the breeders become more focused on participatory breeding and uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, on-farm demonstrations so that farmers see these new varieties in, in their fields. And then uh, as we support the breeders together, we also want to, to make sure that uh, uh, the seed producers and the farmers uh, have access uh, to the seeds of those varieties. For more information, please visit www.africarise.org.